Hi, how are you? Good to see you. Hello, congratulations, ladies. Your name. Okay, thank you, everyone. We're going to get started with today's um, order. They made a little run, but I thought we handled our composure um, and we got stops. When Please raise your hand with questions. And for Mia, can you talk about the importance of getting a conference tournament win and buying yourself another game? I'm very excited, of course, to get another conference win and an award, but um, thanks to my teammates for putting me in a position and my coaches. So just very excited and thanking my teammates and coaches. Coach, turnovers are, again, another problem for the team, and they were a little bit today. How are we, how is, how is the team going to be able to limit Limit, sorry, limit turnovers tomorrow. Um, you know, we just have to not get rattled. I felt like sometimes we get a little lackadaisical and um, a little careless. And I felt like when we focused and paid attention, we got easy buckets down the other end. So it's just about main, maintaining our, our poise. And I thought even Asana coming in as a freshman down the stretch did a good job of, of handling the pressure. Yeah, Marissa, can you talk about how when you're scoring on the inside like Alexa and Mia were today, how much easier that makes the offense and open up space for you as well on the outside? Um, well, if Mia and Alexa are scoring, obviously the defense is going to collapse in, which opens up the perimeter and my point guards, Ashley and Asana, to find me on the wing. Mia, how are you able to create the mismatches and get the matchups you wanted in the paint? Um, well, of course, not by posting up because most of the time I'm smaller than them. So by taking them on a wing and either driving to the basket or shooting. <laughs> and Marissa, could you talk about what it was like and how you were able to withstand the run that ECU made at you in the fourth quarter? Um, well, it was all a team effort. Um, it was staying composed and not losing our heads and just making the right decisions down the stretch. For both of you guys, can you just talk about uh, the challenge of tomorrow, how you're approaching the game, and uh, was was this the main goal to get to to get to Saturday? And you know, what do you do from here? Um, tomorrow game, I feel as though we're approaching it like a regular game, so just coming prepared and ready for whatever. Coach, what was the motivation behind putting us on in for extended minutes in the fourth? Um, you know, I just felt like we needed another ball handler out there. Uh, early on, I felt like she might have been a little shaky, but I think, you know, this is her first time going through this, um, meaning in the American Conference Tournament. Um, so I think she just had to get the jitters out. And for us, Asana usually is an aggressive, looking to attack the basket. Obviously, we talk about this all the time. And she showed me something different. So I knew that her head was in the game and she was actually looking to be aggressive. So keeping her out there and then changing how we were um, doing the press break, just keeping the ball in her hands. And again, it was just a gamble and she, it came, you know, it worked out for us. But her mindset in the half court is the reason why I did it because I felt like she was putting the ball on the floor, looking to attack, looking to be aggressive. And usually she's not looking for her offense. Hey, Coach, can you talk about the positional defense of the team today? Because it looked like you were forcing them to take contested shots. And how much did that defense mean in the, in the contest? Um, you know, I felt like last time we played them, we allowed them to score the same way over and over, and we didn't really make the adjustments. Um, today, I felt like we stuck to the game plan and forced them to, to take challenge shots. Um, I felt like the guys that were guarding Monk and um, Thompson, we did a really good job of staying up in Thompson's face. Last time we played them, we gave her too much room and she got hot. I think we frustrated her a little bit. Monk is just a, a tough kid to guard, but I felt like switching different people on them, um, just getting them out of rhythm and forcing them to do something that they probably don't really want to do. Tanya, could you also address the, the challenge of, of tomorrow and with Jamel back on the bench for them, what kind of difference does that make? In their uh, in their low post game, 
I don't know, how long has JJ been there that CD? <laughs> um, you know, obviously you're playing against UConn. It's our last opportunity, you know, with them leaving the conference. Um, you know, it's we talked about it, you know, over the last couple of days, win or go home, and it's just a great opportunity. No one has beat them yet, so, you know, we're hoping that tomorrow's the day for us. Um, and Jamel, that's one of my best friends, and I'm happy that she's back on the sideline, and I know – those players are happy to have her. She's going to, I'm sure, bring in a lot of energy um, to the coaching staff and to the players. So I know Gino's probably super excited as well as their players. Coach, do you think they were able to get into it? Was it maybe turnovers or fouls? Which was most concerning to you? For us, I started worrying when Marissa picked up three fouls in the third quarter and then Mia picking up her fourth. Um, but... <clears throat> I was more concerned about making sure that we took care of the basketball. I felt like if we take care of the basketball, they don't get those juices going. You know, they feed off of turnovers. So every time we turn the ball over and they get an easy bucket, that just sets up their press even more. So more so turnovers. Um, obviously, Mia's been smart enough, you know, to be in that position and, and not – pick up her fifth as well as Marissa. I thought they both did a really good job down the stretch of, of not putting us in that position. Tony, can you address, uh, teams didn't shake hands afterwards, obviously because of the coronavirus, but you just, they just banged with each other for two, two hours. So how, does that, how is that an effective way of pre preventing it? And have you guys done anything else to, in terms of water bottles or towels or how you handle things to, um, to protect? Um, well, that's what they told us to do, so that's what we're going to do. <laughs> I didn't make the rules, so I'm following the rules. Um, and we're just, you know, just making sure that they're aware and paying attention, making sure we wash our hands, not drink after each other. We have uh, hand sanitizer all over the place, so we're really being cautious, making sure guys are not using the same towels and things like that. Coach, I'd like to follow Pat's previous question a little bit. I'm Ken Best from uh, UConn today. Uh, you've got a unique, unique perspective, having been in the UConn program for as long as you were and now competing against them. Can you provide a little bit of perspective on what they've accomplished thus far, which you might change tomorrow? Um, you know, they've had a really good year. Um, I'm sure Gino is one of those, you know, he's someone that's usually never happy with what you can go 35 and no, and he's not happy until he actually has a championship. But I thought, you know, throughout the year they might have had struggles, but I, I thought every single one of those players worked hard over the summer to get better. Even Megan Walker, she's a player of the year. I thought she did a great job of changing what her body looks like and, you know, changing her game. Um, and, you know, again, it's an opportunity for us to go out and compete against, you know, the best team in the conference and give it our all and see what happens. What about the fact of the length of uh, being unbeaten for so long? I mean, it's unusual. Um, well, usually they say eventually you have to lose, right? <laughs> Eventually, it has to happen, though. Um, you know, again, I, I know that everyone, not just us, everyone wants to be the team that beats them. So that's going to be our mindset, to go out there and make sure that by the end that they have one loss in, in the conference. <laughs> Any other questions? Coach? Ladies, thank you so much. We look forward to seeing thank you tomorrow. You. Thank Congratulations. You. That's okay, Glenn, don't worry about it. I mean, I just yeah, well, tomorrow. So yeah, right, yeah. Temple is on their way down. Or, excuse me, ECU is on their way down.
Okay, we'll get started. We're joined on the dais by East Carolina head coach Kim McNeil and student athlete LaShonda Monk. Coach, if you would like to make an opening statement, then we'll open it up for questions. Uh, first and foremost, I'd like to say congratulations to Temple. Um, they played a, a really good game, a really tough game. And, um, you know, our season has been a roller coaster. You know, we have, we've had a lot of ups and downs. We've dealt with a lot of adversity. Um, you know, our, our motto every day was just to come to practice and, and try to continue to get better. And I thought we did that, um, especially during the month of February. Um, tonight, I think we, did, we dug ourselves too big of a hole. You know, when you're in tournament play, you know, everybody's playing like it's their last possession. And to go down by 18 or 19, I can't remember what it was, you know, we, we dug a hole and, and you have to exert every bit of energy to get back in the game. And second half, we came out and played with some good energy, turned them over and cut the game a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. But you have to play that way from the start. Um, and, and we didn't do that. So, you know, the outcome didn't come out the way that we wanted it, you know. But I'm, I'm looking forward to the future um, with this program. We will turn it around. We will be a competitive team in this league. And you know, I'm excited about the future. Questions, please? Yes, well, Sean, the coach alluded to, you know, they got off to the lead. But how do you think you were able to get back into the game there to cut that deficit down to five? Um, I just think that my, my coaches and my teammates just pushing me you know, to try to get it in transition, you know, slice the floor. They keep telling me to slice the floor. It'll open things up. So I think that we just, you know, really bought into what they were telling us. As for Coach, um, talk about the points in the paint differential and how much impact that that had in the game. Yeah, you know, um, like I said, tournament play, you know, we talked about, you know, the team that comes out and does the little things um, will be the team that wins because at this point everybody knows each other. We know what we're going to do. And we really emphasize trying to keep them off the boards. Um, we didn't do that early. We let Mia um, Davis get off early, get some offensive rebounds, get really, really comfortable in there. And I think that really made a difference. I mean, if you look at it, they had 32 points versus our 18. And we know that that's a, a strong suit for them, offensive rebounding and getting the ball in the high post. And we didn't do a really good job of executing that early in the game. Coach, you alluded to a little bit in your um, pre um, before we answered, started with questions, your statement, um, the improvement that this team made, you know, overcoming adversity. Talk a little bit more about that and, you know, the growth that it made over the course of the season. Yeah, you know, we've dealt with a lot of adversity from the jump. We had, you know, some key injuries um, to some players. And, you know, we're extremely young. We only dress eight kids, and four of those kids are freshmen with, you know, Tierra Chambers as a, as a sophomore, but didn't score not one point last year. Dom Clater was out injured, barely played her freshman and sophomore year. So, really, if you look at our roster, you know, LaShonda Monk is the only kid coming back that's really bringing valuable minutes. You know, and, and you know, we go on a 12 or 13 game losing streak. A young team like that can easily hang their heads and quit. You know, but kudos to my staff and to my players, you know, coming every day, bringing energy. And I'm not going to say every day was perfect. You know, sometimes it was like, you know, pulling teeth to get them to go hard. But, you know, kept bringing energy, kept, and we kept seeing, you know, we want February to be our best month. And, you know, just focusing on the little things and, you know, really focusing on getting better every day. And we saw some good spurts, and we just have to do that more consistently. Coach, you said about it, though, when you went through the losing streak and the, and the tough times, to come back and, and earn – up to a nine seed, how much of an accomplishment is that for you at this point? You know, I think it's huge. You know, a lot of young kids got a lot of opportunity to play, whereas if we had a full roster, maybe they wouldn't have got those minutes. You know, so, you know, I, I think that really helped Tania Thompson, you know, to be able to come out and get the minutes that she got as a freshman and just – you know, we, we, we put a lot on her shoulders as a freshman. You know, her and LaShonda pretty much carried us, you know, through the whole year. And, you know, I'm really proud of all the accomplishments that um, LaShonda has made this year. And, you know, more than just on the court, you guys don't know this young lady, but she has made so many strides off the court just in the way she carries herself and just her body language is just – I can't say enough about this improvement that she's made and at the end of the day that's what it's about too yeah we want to come and we want to win championships but you know my main goal is to develop these young girls into to young women and, and get them prepared for the real world and she's made tremendous strides and you know we put a lot of leadership on her shoulders and that's not something she's used to but she stepped up to the challenge and had a, a unbelievable year yeah LaShonda how much better do you think the team is now than than it is was at the beginning of the year um a lot better like coach said like Practice wasn't perfect, you know, we was on that losing streak, but we came into practice every day and you know, at least gave it our, our all. Um, I think that we just really, we didn't want to, we were tired of losing, so like 
every every practice, you know, we would we was taught us coming back into practice, and it was sad faces, you know. So we just took that in, into consideration, and we it just like really drove us to you know at least get some wins. Any other questions? Thank you, Coach and Lashonda.